Alright guys, got this thing working last night, so this is part three. Um, I'll show you some of the things I had to solve, but yeah, it's putting out some anchors and some envelopes. But uh, got it working, so that's pretty cool. Let me show you, uh, I actually had a few issues with the TFT32. When I have it plugged in, it's giving me some weird errors on like the console. When I have it connected, and a few other minor things, but... Um, yeah, we'll get this going. Let me do a quick test print and... Uh, like I said, I'm still learning this stuff, so I'm totally new to laser cutters and gerbil. So, uh, yeah, it's complete. It works. That's awesome. So let me flip it around and I'll show you what's up. Alright, so remember, the whole point of this video series was to use old 3D printer parts. And this is an MKS Genel board. And I actually still have the... Still got to put this fan on here. But I'm running the uh, Trinamic 2208 drivers. And uh, But the main thing I had to figure out was... Uh, the pulse width modulated output to control the laser. Um, originally, uh, I'm gonna point it real fast. Hopefully, you can see that, but that is actually pin 11 right there, if you can see that. And that's typically what it would be on an Arduino with the Ramps 1.4 board by default, but um, on this particular board, it's on this pin right here, which I think is D4. So you have your negative right here, sure that's in the way. and then you have your pulse width modulated 5 volt output right there. And actually that's what controls laser intensity. And that is the uh, amount of the uh, laser controller board right there. And uh, we'll do a quick test print, but uh, pretty cool. Um, I'm probably going to have to turn on the laser because even at, even at 1%, I mean that's 1%, but I need to figure out why it slows down here. Um, yeah, this is probably not the best material to test with, but um, all right, I'll, in our test print, I'll show you what's up. Alright, so I have my uh, laser web going there. Um, we'll test envelope here. Put my glasses on here, and we're going to fire this thing up. Okay, I'm going to set the zero, and then I'm going to run this thing. Alright, I'm going to do the envelope there. Yeah, it's super quiet because of those trinamic drivers. You can't hear it moving. Yeah, one of the issues with this laser too, it's 15 watt. So I might have to turn it down with that trimmer pot. Just so I don't burn it too much. This is actually 1% laser here. So I think I have about... I mean the laser was about less than 100 bucks. So I probably have maybe about 125 into it with the steel here. The I powder coated this stuff too, so with my home powder coater. Right. Put off a little smoke, so obviously I'm in my garage right now, so I want to keep the garage door open. This is definitely obviously not the best material to use for laser cutting or engraving. Cool. It's a fun project. Alright guys, cool. Awesome.